So by the mercy and the sweet will of our Guru Dev, we are still searching for quotes in Shishirada Rasa Sudan Nidi. But this will be gone very soon. We are already in verse number 214. So you may if you have any inspiration I would like to ask Gurudev, but he is not there. So, but let's see. Maybe we have to connect. But if you have some idea what we can search for in which book next, uh, maybe next year, because this will be finished soon, 214 we are already, so it will end, so maybe one or two, maybe three sharings more, and then we finish Trishirata Rasa Sudanidi. So if you have something you would like, then you can write it, or in Radharasya maybe, and we will discuss together with the Gurudev and see what we will make next. So, 214, the verse is about sweet mental service of the kinkaris. So, I will read the quote first, now, in this connection, it makes maybe more sense. The quote is from Chaitanya Chart Amrita Matya Lila 22, and there is written There are two kinds of practice external and internal. So that's about our seva. What kind of practice? What kind of seva? What kind of bhajan? We have an internal bhajan and we have an external part of bhajan. We know externally by hearing and chanting in one's external material body, that's the one, and the second internal mentally by thinking of one's own Zitadeya, thinking on our real self. Actually, formulation is for us because thinking of oneself is from the body. I am the body and I, and I have a self, a real self. This is from the bodily consciousness, right? Otherwise you would say, I and my body is in another film, <laughs> in another action. <laughs> but I, I'm in the same. So these two kinds, external and internal. So it's actually very interesting point, and uh, we, we need to have it very clear, what's going on here. So, although smarana, or remembrance of Radha Madhava's pastimes, in our case, Radha Mohan's pastimes, and one's own service therein is the main limp of Raganuga Bhakti. Although Smarana, or remembrance of Radha and Mohan's pastimes, and one's own service therein 
is the main limb of Raganuga Bhakti, still the external practice in hearing and chanting should not be neglected. So here it's written two kind of practices. And although smarana is the main limb, we should not neglect external practicing of hearing and chanting. Why not? That's a very important point. Why should we, we cannot ne neglect? Because then the mind will take over again and track us in the material thoughts and in the end, because thought is the beginning, it's like meditation, and then in the end we will do again. So that's why it's very important to have this external practice of hearing and chanting, because then the mind will be controlled from the real energy, the real self, the energy of Radharani coming through the real self, because this is, the Ardarya is coming to us and then the body actually is controlled by that high energy. Your love is lifting me. Yes, that's what happens actually. Radharani's love is lifting us in another consciousness. So then the material consciousness, the body consciousness is just on the side, it's there, but it's a side effect as long as we are here. But the main point, the main feeling, the main action is in the higher realm. So that's why we shouldn't neglect that. The external practice of hearing and chanting nourishes, nourishes the internal remembrance of the desired service. And the internal remembrance also nourishes the external practice of hearing and chanting. And we heard that yesterday also, a part of that that if we understand what actually the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is all about, we have more taste to chant it. And this we can only understand in internal practice. Because you cannot get the feelings from the rasa, from the exchange, the highest exchange of love between Radharani and Krishna, where we are included in our Sita Deha, in service, you cannot get it without your internal consciousness in your Sita Deha. And through this internal consciousness, the feelings you get, you have more taste to chant the Hare Krishna Mantra and, of course, Diksha Mantras because there's more deep understanding. And I mean by this deep understanding, I mean feeling. You can feel more what it means, that it has more connection to yourself than any other things. And this feeling has to grow, because what actually is identification? I feel like the body. That's the identification. I feel like the body. I feel hungry. Ah, that's me. I feel cold. Ah, that's me. I feel very hot. Oh, that's me. No, it's not you. Your car is standing in the sun, gets hot. Is that you? No, you are the driver. But when you sit inside, then it's also you, isn't it? Oh, I'm getting so hot. 
But if my consciousness is outside of the car, I don't care if the car is hot inside, right? So I have to be the driver and not the car. But it's also very much inspiring to drive the car for Radharani. Yes, I'm going to make very nice bhajans together with all, with all the other devotees for Radharani. Very nice feast. I will drive 200 kilometers. Yes, that's nice. Otherwise, not. So actually, this is all about. So we have to connect this. Actually, these two parts. It's like we are all a little bit schizo, hmm? schizophrenia. Hmm? We have two kind of persons. Huh? But if we bring them together again, like one ball with two halves, then it can roll very nicely. And this actually is Bhajana Kriya. Bhajana Kriya. Yes, outside I drive the car, but inside I'm so happy to meet all these wonderful Radhadasis and make seva with them together and like this. So it's this combination. I go in the kitchen and I cook, but not for my body. I cook for the blue boy. He is hungry. Well, I would usually not care so much, but Radharani wants me to help her because she wants to cook for him. So I help her in the kitchen. And then the prasadam from the blue boy. Well, for me it's not so attractive, but I know some person. She wants that Mahaprasad so much. So we will bring her. And then afterwards, that Mahaprasad, oh, this gets very interesting for us. Because this is nourishing our real self. Because it's of the same energy, Sevarasa. First it was in another energy from this blackish boy. But then, as soon as Radharani touched it, it gets into another energy. And this is what we want. So we take this prasad. From outside, all we have done is just cook something and eat it. Like anybody else is also doing. So that's the difference. The usual persons in the material world, they have only one film. The bodily film. But we are Shitsu. We have two. <laughs> and we combine them. And this actually brings us where we want to go. So it's very practical, actually. This is what the verse is about. But let us now hear the verse, because the nectar comes always in the end. Huh? When Radharani took the prasa and then gave it to us, that's the end. When will I forget everything else?
while mentally serving that heroine who is expert in all the arts of love making, who is seen on the lovely forest paths of Sri Bandhavan, and who has deep passionate feelings. When will I forget everything else while mentally serving that heroine who is expert in all the arts of lovemaking, who is seen on the lovely forest paths of Brindavan, and who has deep, passionate feelings. Accepting a very sweet and devoted mood in my heart, I will dwell in a kunja on the bank of the Yamuna that is filled with an abundance of fresh nectar of love rasa that flows from Sri Radha's lotus feet. Accepting a very sweet and devoted mood in my heart, I will dwell in a kunja on the bank of the Yamuna that is filled with an abundance of fresh nectar of love rasa that flows from Sri Radha's lotus feet. So, Actually, everything is in this verse, isn't it? When will I forget everything else? That means I'm completely fixed. This is the outside part. This verse is also in two parts. When will I forget everything else? It starts like that. So, when will I forget my outside consciousness? And mentally, smarana. I serve that heroine who is expert in all the arts of lovemaking, who is seen on the lovely forest paths of Sri Vindavan, and who has deep, passionate feelings. So now what happens? If we hear that, we are serving the heroine who is expert in all art of lovemaking. She is the expert. So what happens when a little child who knows nothing about cooking, nothing, goes in the kitchen and says to Mama, I want to make Schwarzwälder Torte today. You know, it's a big cake. It's actually a little bit complicated to make. It's not so easy. So the child has no idea how to make it, but it has this wish. I want to make today Schwarzwälder Torte for Papa and Mama. Hmm? What happens? Although the child doesn't know anything, the first thing is the child is going to contact Mama and telling, I want to do it. I really want to do it. In the beginning, Mama will say, yeah, yeah, okay, we will do some someday. But then the child will say, no, Mama, no, Mama, we have to make today. Then Mama will consider. Hmm. The child still says, no, Mama, really, we have to make it now. I want to make it. So then, Mama will help, isn't it? And although the child has no idea of anything, the child in the end will have a Schwarzwälder Tod. And it even may have the feeling, I did it. With the help of Mama, but I did it. Isn't it? 
So I think this is very similar to our situation. We have no idea of anything coming from the playroom in external consciousness, just playing with our body and tools, you know, and all these things around us where we think we are or we are connected to. And then we come and say, no, no, I don't want to have this. I will forget it now. Let me forget this now. I want to make with you now Schwarzwälder Torte. And Mama will say, yes, Papa likes it very much. Okay, let's do it. He will be surprised. So this is what we are doing. This is the first part. We come out of our bodily consciousness. We have the wish to come out. We have no idea how. But we take shelter of the lotus feet of the right person. So then the person actually, because of her love, is transforming us from one consciousness into another one. Now it comes, accepting a very su sweet and devoted mood in my heart. What does it mean? I accept a very sweet, devoted mood in my heart. I accept means I get it. It's not made out of me. It's not produced by something. No, I accept it means it comes from Radha. It's there already. I just accept it. Mama, I'm now like you. I'm in the same mood. Yes, I know you. When you bake with love for Papa, I also, I want to be now in this mood of seva, of serving in love. But I want to do it for you. Okay, my child. Let's do it. So I accept a very sweet and devoted mood in my heart. Otherwise, we cannot accept. It's not an exception outside. It's an exception of feelings. And these feelings we can only accept in our heart. That's actually our hands in the heart for that mood. Yes, we accept the lotus feet of Radha in our heart. We get her, our Daya. So now the heart is over flooded. And what happens then? I will dwell in a kunja on the bank of the Yamuna. Yes, I will dwell in that kunja where my mama is, right? In our example, it's the kitchen. It's not a kunja. No, there's no rasa inside. Exchange in the kitchen, we heard already so many times. This is not even a kunj. You can see it on different levels, but it's also a nikunj and even a nivriti nikunj where no one has access. Because the real rasa which, which is exchanged is completely secret. What Radharani is cooking for her beloved? Is this known to everyone? No. Mother Rohini is in the kitchen with her. Does she understand? No. She's in the kitchen, but not in the Nevritini Kunj. But there are some others who are inside, and they are called Manjuris or Kinkaris. And they understand what is really happening in that kitchen. So I will dwell in the Kunj on the bank of the Yamuna. That is filled with an abundance of fresh nectar 
of love rasa. Yes, the Yamuna is the flow of Radharani's Sevaras, of her Brema, of her Mahabhav, of her Madanakya Mahabhav, towards the ocean, the blue ocean. And this is filled with an abundance of fresh nectar of love rasa. Isn't this filled with an abundance of fresh nectar rasa? Of course. What else is flowing from our Swamini? And that flows from Sri Radha's lotus feet. Yes, and that's our source. The lotus feet of Sri Radha. This is our source. We get it in our heart. And then in this moment we are out of the body. It's standing there somewhere, but we are out. Actually, we are in the Nivriti Nikonja. So that is what happens, and this can happen, it can happen every day, also included with us, with every one of us. It's possible. We have to understand it's possible. It's not some nice idea, but we can never make it, or yes, I would really like it, but you know, I'm so unqualified. And Yes. No, it can happen. It is possible. It's there and it can happen. We should just hold it for possible. It's possible. Take it for granted. Yes. You say, oh, it's normal. I mean, not normal in the sense that it, it, it's nothing word. Normal in the sense that it's our nature. It's just natural for us to do so and to be in that. This is our home. So this is the sweet mental service. And we may not do it now we may not do it tomorrow we may not do it in two weeks or in one year or maybe in two or three years we may not may or may not it depends on the person from which background is coming how big the wish is and all this so many things are actually influencing that but but in the end it's the wish in the heart. How strong? How strong is your rati, your excitement, loving excitement? I really want, I cannot live without it anymore. Like the child in the beginning. We have to make the Schwarzwälder Torte. No, Mama, not in some day. No, no, no. Today, actually, not even, no, not even today, now, now, right now. So let's, what, what we can do is let us work through that day. When will the day be mine? Point, point, point. When will the day be mine? When I, being together with you in a Nivriti Nikunj. When will the day be mine? When I, massage your lotus feet. When will the day be mine? When I, do a menial service for you. When will the day be mine? When I clean 
the terrace of your Nivriti Nikunja. When? Not if. The only question is when. When will the day be mine? And then let us do our bhajan in our sadaka. For that reason, not for any other reason, not out of fear to go in hell, not out of I want something real big material thing and now I'm doing bhajan because I want to reach it, not out of any other motivation, but for that motivation, when will that day be mine? For that we do bhajan. Both external and internal practice must be done, therefore. And as we heard now in this example, the best in harmony, together, like a nice ball of the mercy of Mahabharata, rolling. Bhajana Kriya. What a wonderful mental service Sripad aspires. What a wonderful mental service Sripad aspires for in this verse. It is a brilliant example for all practitioners of Raganuga Bhakti. An ever fresh abundance of Brahma Rasa streams from Radha's lotus feet into the Kunja on the bank of the Yamuna, where Sripat serves Sri Radha Mohan. Although Radha and Mohan eternally play their transcendental pastimes in sweet Vrindavan Dham, this is not visible to the eyes of the ordinary man. The word Mahodara, very generous in the text means, that pure love which is free from any kind of desire for personal sense gratification. A person who serves Radha and Mohan with such pure love will gradually become purified and become aware of his Sita Swarup, his actual eternal transcendental identity. Jai Shri Radha. And this we can practice. There are some little things also we usually accept. Like, I am a body and I have a soul. But this is not true. I am the soul and I have a body. We have to change our thinking. This is deep inside because so many lives we thought like that and all others think like that usually. So we can change these little things but we have to be conscious about this. In the same way, we can say, 
I have a, I, I, I'm a sadaka and I have a citadel. No, this is not the truth. I am citadel. I am the servant, the maid servant, the specific maid servant of Radharani, and I have still a sadaka. Unfortunately. But anyway, when will the day be mine means it will be gone after some time. That's for sure. The body gets older. I don't have to do anything about it. It will just vanish. <laughs> That's the nature of the material world. So, but let us start to think in that way. I am the servant of Radharam. And not I am the Sadaka and I want to know. I am. Because this is the truth. We are eternally the servants of Radha. That's the truth. Unfortunately, we're still in the body, but anyway. Sometimes we are sick. Health will come again. But also for health you have to meditate, isn't it? You have to meditate to do your body something good that it can get again in a good state, in a stable, isn't it? And then you take outside some medicine, but most important, every doctor who has some idea of healing, he will tell you that your smarana on your health is the most important point. Because if you don't believe, you can take whatever you take. You have to believe it. You have to want it. Yes, I want. I want to be in my natural, healthy position. And that's a kinkery. I'm taking the Audarya, the lotus feet of my Swamini. And this is really just coming inside from her. I don't have to do anything else but accepting her mood. Accepting. Rade, rade, rade. I have a question, uh, yes. question to this point. <laughs> um, you say when I have right understand, uh, I can also pray for the, meditate for the health, I can stay to do the bhajan, no? to do my sadhana and this. And in, in my, uh, my, um, System is always from maybe from the long Shiva tradition. I'm, I'm never ever pray for any material things. And now my pray is to Radharani. I stay in the health body, or I stay in the sick body, or I die, or I'm living in this body. Any, uh, any, I, I want uh, one. One I want it's uh, to do um, seva to the lotus feet. Also, I, I yes. give it totally up. It it's it, it, it's it's right. I can do this for or I can learn more over this mat material um, things. I'm very uh, shaky in my mind. My whole day, uh, my my whole life, my whole life in 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 thinking so much thinking and now the. My sick, my cancer is a very wonderful blessing from Radha to clarify my mind. <laughs> it's only in the mind. When you see I can do bachan or drive with my car, I do my sadhana, I go in the world. When I have no speak to you, I have cancer, then you know you don't know anything. <laughs> I'm the same <laughs> the same person like in the in, for seven years it begins to start. 
And this is my thing in the in the purification in my mind. I'm so blessed, a blessed blessing, and it's also um, it's very strong. I I know it's strong to have this diagnosed, but it is uh, it's a purification. Um, sometimes one second I wish we oh my god no. Garavani have no cancer, or my brother have no. I don't know why I have it, and so no. This is very small seconds in the last seven years. It's normally never happened. This is a mercy for me, uh, but it's all, always thinking, thinking, no? And the thinking I know, Radharani and Gurudev is, are so merciful. Make me with this diagnosis clarify my thinking. My thinking was so sick and so over, over, so überdreht, ne? So, uh, in this incarnation, it is so merciful that I can now, um, so now it's the, it's the, the difficult point for me in the last months is, have, have I, have I stay longer in the body? Well, why? Why I can do this? Okay. And you say also, okay, I, I can do more sadhana or this or this. My question is, it's a long story. Have, should I, also, ich, ich sag mal gerade Deutsch, dann kannst du es übersetzen. Habe ich überhaupt die, Berechtigung, sag ich mal, in unserer äh, Gruppe jetzt hier, in unserer, äh, in unserem Denken mit Guru Dev, ähm, irgendwas an Gesundheit, auch körperlich, ne, für mich zu wünschen? Nein, also ich denke nicht, aber ich hatte das eben irgendwie so verstanden. Ich könnte jetzt auch beten, oh, okay, das habe ich auch schon mal gehabt, so ein Trick, so ein spiritueller Trick, oh, lass mich noch im Körper stehen, dann kann ich noch ganz viel Kiltern machen, ne? Ist ja für mich auch irgendwo materiell. Aber was sagst du, das total abgeben? Verstehst du meine lange so Rede is, jetzt? Is ja. it material then, when I want to be healthy? Is it a material wish? Yes, it could be. It could be. But from another view, let's say, you want to buy things for Radha's kitchen, produce prasadam, distribute it. So you have a car. This car actually could hold another 10 years, but now it has a problem. The new <laughs> engine has a problem. Maybe the fuel is not really coming inside or, you know, something like that. <laughs> So should I now pray that it should be repaired, that I can use it more in the seva of Radharani? Okay. Or should I throw it away, get a new one? What is more practical? Ah, okay. What is more practical? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The body is just the body. Okay, yes, I agree. But why it shouldn't be healthy and be used if you just have to, to stay here for another 10 years? Why accept the new one? Learn everything again in school and all these things? It's not so practical, isn't it? See it from that point of view. It's, it's in Radha's Seva. It's used there. And if it's practical to use it more, why not? What's the problem? But Radharani knows how much time you need and if it really needs a new one or not. So actually everything will be all right because everything is already all right. Because everything is planned specifically for you, for every one of us. We cannot understand how personally Radharani is taking care of every individual soul because we are her children. 
We may think, yeah, but so many children. Pff, one more or less. <laughs> <laughs> but ask a mother if she thinks like that. Even if she has thousands of children, millions of children. Ask a mother if she would ever think like that, if she is a lovely mother. Ah, one or more, one more or less children, you know. No. Radharani is Mahabhav. She's Prema herself. She is the mother of you. I don't mean your body. That's another point. But of you as soul. She will take care of you personally. And she took already care for you personally. Sometimes you get a shot to your feet and it makes boom that you wake up and you come out of your daydream, you know. <gasps> okay, now time is getting short. Now I really have to get on my feet, you know, and do something. Otherwise, I have to accept another body and it takes another 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years. But the body is really not so interesting in that matter. It's like a car. You use it. If it breaks down completely, what you can do, then you need a new one, isn't it? Or a used one. In our case, we have to take a new one. Thank you very much. This was mid middle middle in the in the point. <laughs> Thank you for this wonderful question. Thank you. It's really a question so many devotees have, you know, because they think, yeah, but it's uh, oh, it's just the body, and it's just yes, it's true, it's just the body. That's why you have to take care because everything you use. In Radharani Seva is wealthy, isn't it? Our Radha Bully, we talk with him. We say, You are Radha Bully, you know, this is your identification. You serve Radharani. You are a servant. Because in the spirit of sky, everything is living, there is nothing bad. So, like you, your body is living now, isn't it? Although it's dead, actually. I'm talking with a bad body, but you are giving life to it. Without you driving it, it's that matter. That's the point we usually, we, we, that, that is actually the point of identification. I am not this body. Yes, that's why I use it. So use it as far as possible. This is also Radharani's mercy. Isn't our Radha Bully also Radharani's mercy? We can drive with this bully to other families and to other devotees and you know spreading the Mahabhav of Radharani, the Brahma message of her. We are also just like a Radha Puli in this body. But out of her mercy she will use us. So please use us. Because this is actually what we want. The Audarya means it gives the energy to be used in the right way. It's her excellence. It's Radharani's greatness, her excellence, her mercy. Generosity. She is generous.
and they come from her lotus feet. All these things come from her lotus feet, and we just have to accept. Yes, we we won. <laughs> please, please take a seat here. I have some cushion here, nicely. Put your lotus feet inside the heart here. Also a car with the feet, control it, isn't it? And with the hands, we are also controlled by the lotus feet of Radha. That's our good luck. <laughs> so the next quote I found from Chaitanya Chart Amrita is in verse number 215. The service is the kinkaris very life. Now we can understand that Rani's Audarya is our life because we are like, are you say, Behelta? A pot, like a pot or a bottle. Our Darya is coming inside and we need to take it. And then we can say the life of the bottle is that what is inside, isn't it? Like the body, the life of the body is the soul because it's inside. So the life of our soul, if there's not the Audarya inside, what we have life? No, we don't have. If the qualities of Radharani are not coming into us, flooding ourselves, we don't have life. No prana. Our praneshwari is giving us life. Service is the kinkari's very life. Who is service in person? Who is Sevaras in person? The highest Sevaras, our Radha. So only if we get this Sevaras from her, we are living. Without that, Radhara Swarupa Krishna Brema Kalpalata Sakki Ganahoi Tara Palava Pushpapata Krishna Lilam Ritayadi Latake Sinjaya Nicha Sekka Hoi Te Palavatya Koti Sukha Hoi Chaitanya Charit Amrita Radhika is a wish yielding wine of love for Krishna and love for Krishna and her girlfriends are this wine sprouts. The wine itself is growing. The tree is in the middle, the blackish, the wine, the golden is growing around and the sprouts, the little kinkaries,
Radhika is a wish shielding vine of law for Krishna, and her girlfriends are these wine sprouts, flowers, and leaves. Gopis are also needed, other ones, parents, and all these others, and the leaves. But everything actually without Radharani, not possible. No sprouts, no leaves, no flowers, nothing. Just a black tree without any wine. The wine is sprinkled with the nectar of Krishna's pastimes. This makes the sprouts and flowers millions of times more happy than when they would be personally sprinkled. This is an interesting point, huh? If you sprinkle a plant, just give a little water to one flower, to one leaf, you do like this? No, you put the water to the root, isn't it? Because the roots are spreading and distributing. They actually take the water, bring it up to every leaf, to every sprout and distribute it. Isn't it? This is our Radharani. And they are million of times more happy than they would be personally sprinkled. So if Krishna would sprinkle one leaf or one flower, there wouldn't be happiness. Not like this. So the right way to sprinkle all of them is true Radha. That's why all Raga marks begin with surrender to Radha. Otherwise, there are no Raga marks. Raga is not possible without Radha. Because how can you love without feelings? Anybody know how? <laughs> Some they say yes. <laughs> That's the point. Without Radha, without Mahabhav, you cannot be in Radha. You cannot serve Krishna in a way that he will be completely satisfied. It's impossible. So that's why when the wine is sprinkled with the nectar of Krishna's pastimes, Krishna Lila with Radha is giving happiness to all of these aspects. Without Radha, not possible. And the Kinkaris, they have the most happiness because they are completely selfless. And how selfless this is described in the next quote. Nicha Bremanande Krishna Sevananda Bade Se anandera prati bhaktera hoi mahakrote. Devotional service is the very life. The devotee is very angry at his own loving ecstasy when it stops him from ecstatically serve. Krishna true Radha would be our explanation here. 
The devotee is very angry at his own loving ecstasy when it stops him from ecstatically serve Krishna. Ecstatically serve Krishna is only with Radha. You cannot ecstatically serve him. Completely ecstatic. Only Radharani has complete ec ecstatic mood. So, Nicha Premananda Krishna Sevananda Bahadhe Se Anandera Prati Bhaktera Hoy Mahagrode. That's why the devotee is angry at his own loving ecstasy when it stops him from ecstatically, ecstatically serving. This is the mood. This is the mood of the kinkaris. I don't even want ecstatic. We all know what that meant, isn't it? A, a little drop of that every one of us got already. Some ecstatic mood when you have done some service and you, you got some response from Radha. But then you stand there, tears are dropping from your eyes, and you don't see what is burning in the pan. And then you think, oh! Go, you ecstasy. Let me do this nicely for Radha. Don't disturb me in my seva. Completely selfless. That's the mood of the kinkaris, like Swamini herself. She's taking so many bad circumstances, so many trouble. She has to lie to her family. She has to somehow get away from home through the forest paths in the Kunja. So many troubles. But for her, this is the ecstasy. Completely selfless, she's doing it for her beloved, to please him. So devotion and service is the very life of the Mandaris, and they greatly lament. <laughs> When the swoon out of ecstasy, for that stops the executive of their service. There's one incident actually mentioned in Vilap Kusumanjali. Or is it in Vilap Kusumanjali? Or is it in Larana Sudani? When the Mandari falls into swoon with Radha together, and then she's lamenting so much. Oh my God, what happened? I could not serve my Ishwari. So this is the Sevaras, and this is the Sevaras of Swami. Let me bear all trouble, as long as my beloved is satisfied. So, we can just pray that one day, when? When will the day be mine? <laughs> this, this mood will also be installed in my heart.
And this is actually the mood of this verse, 215. When will I fall in an ocean of misery, fainting and constantly lamenting over my condition, of being unable to console Sri Radha when she does not see her jewel-like lover on her lap for even a moment, showing expertise in playing lovely amorous artistic games with her, When will I fall in an ocean of misery? So tell me, who's praying like this in this world? Oh my God, when can I fall into an ocean of misery? You know one? <laughs> no one. When will I fall in an ocean of misery, fainting and constantly lamenting over my condition of being unable to console Sri Radha when she does not see her Jew-like lover on her lap for even a moment? showing expertise in playing lovely, amorous, artistic games with her. So Sri Sri Radha and Mohan are enjoying in the Kun, showing their expertise in the arts of Eros. After making love, they sit up on the bed and Sri Radha nestles herself on her hero's lap. The maidservant then enters into the kuntra and serves the divine couple better leaves and cool water. Krishna has enjoyed his union with Sri Radhika for long and now he wants to relish her feelings of separation by hiding out and watching her from a hidden place. It is said Navina Vipralam Bhena Samboka Pushtim Asnute Uchvalaninamani Without separation, union cannot be nourished. Separation is not just nourishing union, it is relishable as a separate rasa as well. Indeed, the Acharyas have said that the rasa of separation is even more relishable than the rasa of union. One may ask now, if separation simply nourishes the union, then it should be counted as a mere limb of the rasa of union. Why is it then also called a rasa, although it gives so much misery and pain? The answer is to that, that separation is not a mere nourisher of union. When the hero and the heroine go through the stages of Rati, Prema and Sneha, they remember, see and experience each other in the respective media of the mental, the visual and the physical, in which they respectively embrace, kiss and sexually unite with each other. This astonishes them so much that their separation, during which this all occurs, can even be called some book 
punjamaya, an abundance of union. That is why there is so much separation in the mood of Braj, especially in the Morris Rasa. So, does anyone understand what this is all about? How it can be so much How it can be so ecstatic when they are separated? First, we have to get rid of our bodily consciousness again. Because on the bodily platform, it wouldn't be like that. Separated means the two bodies cannot meet, they cannot exchange, there is no nourishment, there is no, no special rasa. You can say, yes, it's, maybe it's more nice to meet after you didn't, because you have more anxiety. But that's all. Out of what material are the bodies of Radha and Krishna? Can somebody tell me? Out of what material they are made, actually? They are not made of matter, isn't it? Radharani's body is existing of Mahabhav. What does that mean? Spiritual feelings. The highest spiritual feelings. So if I feel separated, in this moment I miss someone, I'm meditating on this person, I'm in this moment completely connected, isn't it? And if I have a body which is out of feelings, and I feel that person, that means I'm with that person, isn't it? And because I'm missing this person now, I invest my feelings even more, isn't it? And I meditate on all what happened and could happen, and so I'm completely in rasa. That's why it is said this is even more tasty. So we cannot compare this to the material understandings. It's transcendental which means it's above, above the material understanding. And we can only feel it in a body of feelings, a bhava deha. That's why it's a bhava deha, body of transcendental feelings. Then. then we can feel it. Otherwise, we are in our material concept. Maybe someone wants to share on that or has some questions or Thank <laughs> you.
schön, the connection to Jesus in the Leben. Yes. Okay, okay. I was just thinking today was somehow the topic, uh, yeah, we as soul and also loop and also bodily consciousness. And uh, I had just the thought it's a nice connection to Jesus and what he wanted to, to learn us. <laughs> This is what he wanted to share with us. A connection through Bhava. Because he was in the Raga Mark. In another Raga than we, but in the Raga Mark. And you cannot enter any Raga Mark without the Radha. Right? Without her mercy, not possible. No raga. So he wants to share that love. Mahabhav. And if we do not have actually this connection, Which means that we feel that Radharani and Krishna are our mother and father of me as a soul. How I can go in Raga without that base? If I do not accept that point, how I can go into Raga? That's impossible. So first I have to accept that point inside my heart. If someone asks me today, who's your mother? I can only say, oh my God, my mother. Wow. She is the most lovely person existing. She is the best, the clever, the most clever, the most artistic. She is... I cannot describe. Do you have some millennium time? Then I could actually <laughs> try to describe a little bit. But if you do not have a millennium, I cannot describe you. I'm sorry, but this is my mother. And you, who is your father? Oh my God, my father, <laughs> Poo. How to explain Poo? I have the best father. He's taking care of everything in one time. And he, he is really undescribable. I mean, he has anything in perfect order. I mean, everything. And he's so much in love with my mother. He's so a wonderful person. When he's together with my mother, He's the most beautiful one. And I love to see him excited when he wants to see my mother. But this is not the Rasa, actually. I'm just joking a little bit. The Rasa is something different. If I accept Radharani and Krishna as mother and father, then this is the base on which I can go into. But without this base, I cannot let myself fall into that games. So, let us accept this Jesus love because he wants to give us this basic understanding. And if we accept that, we can go forward. So we can pray today for Jesus that he reveals actually in our heart 
our real mother and father. And if in the future someone will ask us who is our mother and father, we will not answer from the bodily concept of life. Jai Jai Shri Radhe